Hello friends! Today I want to tell you about the garage refresh that Robert and I just concluded. We spent really about a week and a half just really digging through the garage. We had a trash truck come, we threw a lot of things away, and we gave away a lot of things. We don't have a fancy garage that has, you know, special cabinets and it's not like an extra room. It's really a garage and it has served many purposes for us over the years. But let me show it to you and I'm going to tell you the top five things that you need to know in order to do a garage refresh. Our garage has been a lot of things over the years. As you know, we've been in this house almost 35 years and so initially it was a two-car garage but it is only a one car garage now and we're going to tell you why but it has stored all of you know all of our christmas items and all of our grandchildren items and it was at one point even a dance studio for our daughters who were in irish dance so here we go here's the five top items number one number one is the shelving we have different kinds of shelving here, but the one that we like the best is this very heavy shelving that we got at uh, Home Depot. And you can see we have two uh, baby carriers and one car seat there and house cleaning items there. But we have them here and here. And then over here, we also have shelving. Let me show you what's on this shelving. Robert is going to be my Vanna White. Behind this moving blanket is, you're right, all of our Christmas ornaments. <laughs> so we are very... These are the precious ones. We have a whole separate storage for the <laughs> non-precious ones. Yes, that's true. These are the things that I've collected over, you know, 40 plus years of marriage. So that's, we keep these close to our heart, not on our off-site storage space. Uh, Robert, would you say anything about these uh, storage shelves? Um, they're really sturdy. We got them from Home Depot. I think they were called Gorilla Shelving or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and you set the shelves up so they will take the maximum number of bins. Mm -hmm. So you can see we've done it as one, but one and then three, but you could put in another shelf uh, for even okay. more storage. And, you know, Initially, when we had a two-car garage, we had no shelving, and that was fine at the time, but now we need the storage. All right, that's number one. Number two is bins. Honestly, you can never have too many bins. You can see here, there's even a couple open bins. Robert has decided he's gonna let me use a couple of the open bins for some of my party decorations. But every bin has its purpose. These are our holiday lights here. And uh, this is Robert's painting equipment here. This is moving blankets here, down here, more painting equipment, things we're gonna take to the cabin. So these are tools that are too large to fit anywhere. And then up here we have smaller bins for tape and gloves and cable ties and electrical uh, electrical something irrigation irrigation anyways really the garage is robert's domain so i don't know a lot about it but i did help organize it <laughs> if you want to use your garage as a workshop which robert does you can see all of his tools then this is a terrific addition robert made this and i can send you the plans if you like but it's a movable um, workbench. And since we just redid the entire, we just cleaned the entire garage, look behind it, very clean. <laughs> I was vacuuming behind there. So you can move it, you can move it out into the sunshine. What else would you say about it, buddy? I built an adjunct which has uh, my um, miter saw on it and the levels are such that the elevation of this table is the same as the top of the miter saw, so I can use this entire length for cutting long, uh, you know, uh, plywood or uh, large, large boards. These are new. This is number 
four. four. These are new and such a great addition to our uh, garage organization. They're magnetic strips that hold all of Robert's uh, commonly used tools. So all the tools that he uses a lot, the needle nose pliers, um, ham I don't know, <laughs> whatever all that stuff is. Uh, it's really great. And really recommend this if you're going to use your garage as any kind of a workshop. Number five. So the last essential piece is someone who wants the garage to be clean and organized and that would be Jill. <laughs> uh, she um, urged me to keep it cleaner and you know what's interesting as soon as we got it all picked up and reorganized I've started using all of my tools all of my projects my woodworking equipment because it's just easier to get to so a clean garage is a good thing thank yeah you. thank you buddy and he's a very happy boy um so yeah here's our newly refurbished garage with all of robert's toys very happy